Hey, welcome back. On uh, February 2nd, we got a new release for uh, Deep End. And it says right here that the, the third and final beta build of Deep End 23, a desktop ending distribution featuring the Deep End desktop environment, is now available for download and testing. So this is a, a beta release that we're going to take a look at. So uh, let's head on over to their website and see what it has to say. So we'll click on the distro watch link and then from there we'll go to the download page. And you see right here in red, we have a warning it was, it says attention. The beta version may be unstable. Please do not use any production environment. So anyone that's, uh, wants to test it out, go ahead and test it out. Feel free to do it. But, uh, it tells you right here that if you're going to install it, uh, on bare metal and use it as a production, uh, system. Just be aware, this is a beta version. All right, so I downloaded it from here. So let's get on over to the uh, virtual machine and take a look at Deep End version 23, beta 3. And here we are on the virtual machine. You can see right here, uh, I'm going to select English as my language. And then uh, select, I have read and agreed to the end user license agreement, I guess. Click on next. And then installation method, full, full disk, custom, or RAS. I'm going to just select full disk. Okay, I've selected my disk, and we're just going to click on next. And it says right here, ready to install. Make a backup of your important data, and then continue. So I'll just start the installation. And this should take uh, a few minutes here, so uh, I'll see you once this all is installed. And the system is now fully installed, so we'll go ahead and click on Reboot now and uh, reboot the system. And we are rebooting now, so here we are going to create our user account. So, I uh, have my uh, username. And let me just scroll down, and we'll give it a password. And we'll click on next and we're configuring your computer. So this is like a second part of the installation. This is where we add our user accounts and things like that. So uh, we'll let this finish and then we'll come back and uh, continue on. Okay. We are, uh, it just rebooted on its own. So you see right here, got Linux up, it's asking for a password. And down here it says deep 23 community, community beta three. So let's give it our password to log in, see if installation is now completed. And installation is now completed. And we are welcomed by a welcome, looks like a video. But the first thing I want to do here is uh, I want to fix my screen resolution. So let me get into the uh, settings and get that fixed up. And display. Okay. We are in display settings and resolution. Looking for 1920 by 1080. Yes, save. We're good. All right, I'll go ahead and close this down. Move this to the middle. And this is a uh, deep end video, but uh, I'm not going to watch the video, so I'll just click on next. And right here it says uh, choose a desktop mode. We either go with fashion mode or we could go with efficient mode. So let's take a look at both. The fishing just pretty much stretches out the uh, panel just to use as a regular panel. And I think it, uh, eh, it even went into dark mode and everything. So that's efficient mode. And this is the default fashion mode. So let's see if it changes back to a light. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just going to stay the same like that. But since this is how it's booted up, this is how we're going to leave it for now. Click on X. And now we got effect mode and normal mode. So let's see what's different right here. So I guess window effects. Oh, I see like the round borders and things like that all went away. And that puts them all back. So this removes them. So that removes the window effects. Just add to them. All right, we'll click on next. 
And we have a choose an icon theme. So we have bloom, flow, hazy color, macaron, organic glass, square, vintage. So you can kind of see right here. And it also changes the desktop background when it's like. So let's see if I go square. Yeah, it changes the background also. All right, I'll just leave it on organic glass. And then I'll click done. So that was your welcome screen on uh, Deep End 23 Beta. All right, so this panel, like you see right here, is uh, it's a customized, customized uh, mode known system so right here you got your system tray your power options things like that and these are your pinned applications so right here you get quite a few pinned applications along with your uh, launcher so we have control center calendar music album app store browser file manager and multitasking view. Then the show desktop, this pretty much minimizes all your all your uh, open programs. It'll just iconify them. And then you have your launcher. So click it on your launcher, should open Launchpad, or no, it's just a regular application launcher. Well, there's nothing regular about it. It's all funny customized, but looks like they're trying to have uh, some type of uh, Windows 11 theme or something like that. And everything makes to be set up in alphabetical order. So we got A, B, C, and so on and so forth. All right, and this is your uh, application launcher. So I wonder if there's a way to uh, set it up by uh, by categories. Maybe click it on this right here. It kind of did, and it kind of didn't. So, you know, just to get like a standard normal view of your applications, maybe clicking on this control icon will fix it, but uh, I don't see anything. So I'll just close this, open this back up. And if I do this, does it open up Launchpad? And it does. So this will make it more like GNOME. Well, it is a modified GNOME system, so. That's pretty much your launch rad. And then if you click on this again, it'll bring it back down to this. So basically it's just shrunken down launch pad is what it is. All right. So we'll go back to the alphabetical and just leave it like that. Just leave it alone. All right. So let's see the terminal, see what terminal they're using. It makes like it's a known terminal. Let me confirm that. And now it's uh, deep end. They have their own uh, terminal now. But it is a modified known terminal. And this is version 6.0.11. Looking good so far. Let's see if we have H top installed. We do not. How about NeoFetch? We do not. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at their uh, app store. See what we can find in the app store. Now the app store is, looks like it's using a light uh, colored scheme and the terminal is using a dark color scheme. So, you know, it's not uh, it's not unified, it seems. But anyways, we came here to get for a stop and NeoFix, so that's it, we find them. A stop right there, we'll go ahead and install it. And let's take a look for NeoFix. Ah, uh, search results for NeoFetch. Not seeing. Okay, HTOP has finished installing, so that's done, but I'm not finding a NeoFetch. Maybe if we do a uh, sudo apt install. sudo apt install NeoFetch. Let's see what happens here. All right, so that found it, no problem. I trip out on these systems somehow. They, uh, a lot of them when they have their uh, app stores, you don't find simple programs like NeoFetch and uh, HTOP. It's kind of mind-boggling, but uh, nonetheless, we got it installed now, so 
Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, H top is still not found after being installed, so that's a little issue already. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and uh, clear the screen. And now let's see if we get the same problem with NeoFeds. All right, so there's NeoFeds. It opened on, okay, zoom. I'm gonna have to manually zoom this, I guess. So we can see right here, we're running deep end 23. The kernel 6.1.32. Desktop environments, it just says DDE, but I'm pretty sure that means deep end desktop environment. And we're using 916 uh, megabytes on our RAM. Now the problem for uh, HTOP, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that it's its own program. It's installed like a program, not like uh, to run in the terminal, but I'll show you that in one second. Let's uh, take a look at the about on this uh, software manager. And it's just the app store is a software center where diverse and quality applications support installation and installation with one click. So it's just app store. It's just the name of it. 8.0.6. All right. So now let's take a look for uh, HTOP. So do a search right here. HTOP, and there it is. See, it, it is installed like a program. Even though it opens up with the terminal, it's installed like a program. It's weird. I know. Okay, you can see right here, uh, HTOP is opened up, and we have uh, 800 megabytes of uh, RAM, but you're also using 550 megabytes of swap. So you can see it's over a gig in total of memory that it's using, and the load averages are going to... Okay, package catch A swipe. And the load averages are 1.48, 1.67, and 1.08. So it is kind of a little high uh, on the load average. So something's running in the background that uh, obviously this right here should tell me what it is, but yeah, I'm not going to go ahead and search for it. All right, so that's uh, HTOP, and we'll go ahead and close that. All right, so let's take a look at some other uh, things we got here. So let's take a look at the control center. And right here in the control center is pretty much, uh, you know, every system has a control center. And from the control center is where you control everything in the system as far as, you know, right? you got users, display, default applications, personalization. So this is where you set up your themes. You got network, notifications, sound, power, time formats, updates, keyboards, and system info along with mouse and general settings. So this is your control center. So if there's anything you want to, change on your system pretty much you'll find it here and let's take a look at the about and it's the control center for deep end and 6.0.44 all right and then we also have a calendar that's pinned right here and let's take a look at this calendar it's pretty it's a pretty uh pretty filled calendar here obviously you got two calendars so you have the big one right here and then you have a small one right here so not sure why you do both but they they have their reasons, right? So right here, if you want to set up event, you could just uh, click on a date and then uh, actually right click on a date and you just click on new event and we can just set up the info that you want to fill it in with and get your reminders and everything all pretty much squared away. And let's take a look at the about. And this is a calendar for deep band 5.12.0. All right. And then right here, we got music. It's weird because all, all the apps on Beepin are just simply named like music, calendar, control center. Everything is just a simple name. You'll see right here on the about, it's just music. 6.2.39. And pretty much right here, if you want to add music, click on add music, open a folder, and listen to music. And click on back shot. And next to that, we have album, and this is going to be your uh, to view photos. So right here, you can import photos and videos. And I'm pretty sure this is just called album also. Yep, album from Deepin, 5.10.21. All right, and then we have a browser. I think they use the Epiphany browser, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, it may be just called browser. Who knows? Uh, let's take a look at the about. 
browser. <laughs> Version 6.3.8. All right. Now we know. It's called browser. <laughs> Can't get no simpler than that. And then right here we have uh, file manager, which we used to be called file manager or files. So uh, let's take a look. File manager, 6.0.40. Keep it simple, right? No better thing than to keep it as simple. Yeah. So far, I mean, everything's looked great too. I like their theme and the way and everything looks. Everything with the rounded corners also gives it an awesome look. So, all right. So, well, got your shutdown menu, your power menu. Uh, it doesn't give you like a like a cancel option in case you don't want to do that. Oh, you just click anywhere outside of it. All right, so that canceled it. And then let's see what's this right here. This is where you control your volume and your screen brightness. If you had a laptop connected or things like that, you also have the internet and you can do a brand search and open the onboard keyboard. So is it all just one? No, that's your wire connection separated. These are your alerts. All right, and UOS AI. What is UOS AI? Welcome to UOS AI. Here are some of the things UOS AI can help you do. Help me create a meeting schedule. Open the theater for me. Help me draft an outline of meeting minutes. Okay, I don't need that. And this is your onboard on-screen keyboard. And you also have a pull-up menu right here that has a deep in home and then disc all right so this is a deep in version 23 beta 3 a uh, pretty good system everything looks beautiful everything looks nice but like i said this is a beta version so you know if you want to use it to test it that's fine but if you're going to use it on a production system on a production machine then just be warned that this is a beta release just wait for the official release to come out and then uh, go ahead and have fun with it. But if you're impatient, I understand too. I used to be that way also. <laughs> but like I said, do it at your own risk. You know what I mean? So it's all, it's all up to you. All right. Well, this is going to do it for this uh, video right here. Uh, it's a quick uh, first look at their beta release. So I uh, just want to take a look at it and give you guys an idea of what you're getting into if you're going to install it yourself. All right. All right. That's going to do it for me. And I'm out.